Hi folks and welcome back here to another episode of Vigilantes. I have quickly off screen just went through everyone's inventory and made sure we're not, you know, missing level ups or extra items lying around. Checked the store and bought a couple of uh, weapon upgrade parts, but nothing you haven't seen a couple of times before. And I think all we're going to do for now is we're going to take a look around, see where the crime rate's highest that we can find. Okay, we don't actually know much about this place. Wealth level is high. Got a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, free ammo. Crime rate is 46%. That means a lot of this wealth is funding the Mafia right now. So we're going to double check that we have all of our dudes on mission. And we do. So we're going to head in to this zone right here. And we are going to kick its ass. Assuming we don't just get uh, stomped. Oh wow, okay. The kicked in doors and glass shard trail leads here. Instead of a uh yeah, instead of a break in crew, the knight serves up a rooftop and a man and a toppled bottle of courage back and forth back and forth thing. Wow, this is uh this is English, ladies and gentlemen. Marking time with a clink at the end of each la uh, lazy arc. His foot slides over the threshold, trembles over nothing and everything. Withdraws, trying it on for size covertly. You place a call to the emergency services. Sneaking grabs too risky. This all comes down to words. The right ones, the right way, and at the right time. Quiet up here. Almost feels like being outside the city. He twists to face you, instinctively stepping back from the edge. Good. That's one in the right direction. Don't try to stop me. Stay back or I'll do it right now. Not fast enough to reach you in time to stop you and not going to try. Just here to talk. He looks down, the lines of his face stretching and deepening as he considers his life, and the end of it, and the city spreading out below. You... you think I'm a coward, don't you? Answer without worsening the situation. It's not cowardice, it's not braver either. The word isn't made up from... made up from broad black and white brush strokes. I'm guessing that's something you understand, and I think the situation in your life hasn't arranged themselves in such a way as to make this seem like the only option you have left. It isn't. How could you know that? You don't know anything about me. My name's Sam. If you give me yours, we can start working on that. Okay, so this is Jason. Hi, Jason. I don't know what you're going through, Jason, but there aren't a lot of problems that can't be solved outright, mitigated or adapted to, to the point where a fulfilling life is possible. I've told you what I think. Tell me what you think. Flash tears cascade down his cheeks. His laughter is the sound of a person makes on the wrong end of a looped rope. By outward standards, I was ahead of the curve in just about every measure. Great girlfriend, great family, friends, fat paycheck, nice house, fancy car. You tell yourself it's just a bad spell, it'll pass, but you can't begin to imagine how far down the elevator goes. You tell yourself you need to get on with it, even though you're getting on with it is what caused the fucking problem. Then one day you wake up with lead-infused blood and eyes that won't open and a body that doesn't want to move and each day has turned into an assault that begins with clawing your way from the sheets and ends in darkness at the bottom of a bottle. I drank, withdrew, severed connections, told a few people how it felt, they tried to hide it, but you could see it in their faces, they just couldn't get how someone with all the outward trappings of a good life could feel this bad. Sorry this is happening to you Jason, I really am. You could get help for this, and you can beat it. Maybe. What you said about turning any set of adverse circumstances into a fulfilling life. Do you believe it? Oh, just attempt? Oh. The pressure cooker situation and his directness backfoots you. Thoughts emergency eject until your mind is zen blank and the dead air grows into the towels. You start to speak, try to fill the words with words. Try to fill the voids with words. Try. A lunatic in a mask. You're probably more messed up than I am. You really believe that you have something worthwhile to say? Get out of here or I'll do it. No choice but to take him in his word. If emergency services can't manage more finesse, this man is in serious trouble. Wow. Well, okay then. Screw you too, buddy. I have five leadership. I thought that was good. Uh, oh, our reputation is as a hero now. That's pretty dope. But uh, we weren't going there for Mr. Roof Jumper. We were going there to kill us some mafia goons and hopefully lower the crime rate. The enforcer looks like a lot of bad luck. 
He towers over the man, likely the, per the proprietor, with an air of practiced menace. You ne need to learn a new song for that violin of yours. The proprietor's defiance is bordering on aggression, suggesting either a confidence in the outcome not borne out by the current shape of things, or a complete loss of perspective. Your money's on the ladder. You think I have time to sit around making things up? If I pay you the insurance premium now, I can't open the till tomorrow. That's how things are. You're looking at a man crumbling from the stress of a failing business and organized intimidation. He's about two clacks and calls away from a meltdown and fixing on going out with a bang. That's how things are, then. Galenio, break the windows. All of them. Galenio looks as eager to please as the homeless dog. That's a strange awe glow in his eyes as if his whole life has been leading to this moment. Maybe it has. Sure thing, boss. You stupid fucks. No one's gonna come near this place with all the windows busted. If that happens, I'm finished. And if I'm finished, you won't be able to squeeze any money, to, any more dough out of me. Can't you see how fucking stupid this is? It's all short-sighted, quick buck with you guys. The proprietor moves to intercept Galenio. It's time to intervene. Call out the hoods, pretending to be a police officer. Riker City Police Department, do not move. The mafioso freeze. In the moment it takes for them to recover, your attack is underway. Uh, sure, we'll take our 80%. Success! I don't even know where I am. Well, there we are. Well, I'm gonna move back here. We're gonna all try and get into cover, except Lord of Flame, who's just gonna move right over there. Ray, hopefully you uh, get something good done here. Move her behind cover, and this dude, holy crap, uh, get behind that bin. <laughs> so we're gonna move two back that way. We're gonna get out our nice revolver, -er. and we're gonna tap that dude. Primo, get Primo. Get out another revolver, and we don't really have time to move here, so we're just gonna take our normal shot. Try and just put some hurt on these guys. Nice, not quite a kill, but I'll take it. How does she have instant? Oh well, let's get past those points, I guess. Get better at guns, lady. And then... You know, yeah, we'll just take a snap. We don't need much here. And I guess that's all we're doing for now. Well, this guy's a nice revolver, so we'll pop this dude. Looks like he has a rifle of some kind, probably the AK that we have. He's gonna have a bad time. Actually get that from there. Oh, you get a decent chance. I take that back. That was absolutely terrible. So what is this? Some kind of like coffee shop, cafe, or there's a lot of these dudes. I didn't realize how many there were. But I guess it is like a three danger zone, so that makes sense. Let's uh, put some hurt on this guy. Yeah, yeah, Donny the Lips. We know about Donny the Lips. We've heard a lot. We've heard a lot about uh, Donny the Lips. Oh well, never mind, Ray. You got the fastest gun. We can't complain too much. Down he goes. Yeah, okay, dude. Time for you to. Uh, That's to be expected. Now I'm going to assume. Oh wow. Okay. I'm going to assume this is one of those temporary guys you get, and we're not going to keep them. So I'm not. I'm not going to go out of my way to have my guys, you know, get hurt trying to keep him alive. We will try, but I'm not going to risk my team members for his sake. Oh wow, they really don't like him, do they? I think it's safe to say they figured out we're not the police. I wonder if DeSoto would have reacted at all to us doing that when she got there. Oh nice, the guy managed to uh, get a kick off. I think we're going to have to move up here. Or they could just move some more people into our nice line of fire. Hopefully this will uh, get a crit and finish her off. Nope. Oh well, let's, uh, what if we double snap? 82% on a double snap. We can take that. Looks like one missed at least. 
seventy percent sure. Noise. I'm run up into their business, so the rifleman's uh, losing some ability to shoot. I'm not sure if this guy's gonna last till the end of the round. What are you pulling out? Nothing, you're just going for the melee. Jesus, that poor guy. Now I know he thinks he's a genius closing in on us on melee, but all he's doing is making himself easier to shoot. Nope, down he goes. Alright, so, these guys are getting close. We will finish this lady off. Good old Ray here can shoot this dude. Ow, no need. Suck it. Can we double snap? We can't. So we'll just go for the, uh, the regular snap, I guess. That'll give us enough AP next time. To double snap that dude and finish him off. Regeneration. Oh, evasion. That sucks. Now we get to watch these guys beat the crap out of us for a round. As long as he doesn't get plexus strike, uh, he might actually be able to get both of his hits off next round and get some real damage off. I wonder how many people we've actually killed since the game started. Oh, Jesus. Unorganized crime. Sure. Okay. Let's put another hurt on that guy. And we might as well do the reload. Eye for weaklings. I'm not sure what that does, but sure. The goom was fast. The gumshoe was faster. Skadoosh. Get that reload. Oh yeah, she has to reload now, damn it. I mean, she doesn't have enough for a uh, double snap, but we can just put another shot in him. We could miss. That is another option that we do have. Of course, the Lord of Flame here. Ooh, 31 versus 34. We might as well start working on the dangerous guy. Nice. Nice. That's actually a half decent amount of damage she's taken now. She's down to like half her health. going to stand for that obviously so you can suck magnum twice oh that's unfortunate we're now bleeding Ray does have the med kits so as soon as next turn rolls around we'll try and get her healed I love that regeneration Suck it, Thomas. Oh, but I think you are, ladies and gentlemen. We aren't letting these guys get away. I'm guessing that means she's uh, stopped with the bleeding as well. Oh. Oh well. We'll start closing in next round. But for now, we will just beat the shit out of people. Such 
chances of hitting this guy. Right. I think we're best off just closing in right. for this round. Oh no, she is still bleeding, okay. Then I guess you can sit back here and take a shot. Okay, not gonna complain about that. Meanwhile, you can uh, beat the shit out of that dude. What's your plan, buddy? Oh, medkits. Oh, should finish this guy off now. Yep. Skill and firearms has increased, which is very impressive now. I think we're, we're getting to the point now where we're pretty much a, a sharpshooter with the amount of uh, crazy shots we pull off. Not expecting that to do anything. Yeah, it's about what we thought. This, on the other hand. Nice damage there. Medkit, yep. Huh, well, aren't you now just way easier to hit for us? Yeah. Okay, that's the end. You rush to the motionless restaurant provider. Multiple gunshot wounds have caused enormous trauma. There's no pulse. Case looks down at Jack Thompson. Maybe we should have stayed out of this one. Nothing more you can do here. I don't think we were going to be able to save that guy. The amount of them was ridiculous. Well, at least... It wasn't ridiculous for us to fight, but it was ridiculous to have had to have tried to run in past, so we weren't ever going to save that guy. Oh, nice. So, something in F7. Right, we've got a couple of SMGs, a couple of nice weapons. We gained a level. We got some knives. And we got a bunch of church or intel. I guess the level we gained wasn't a core stat level. Can we go over 100? We can. We have like 103 in firearms. Holy crap. Arcadia has gained one of these levels though. Uh, we'll give him toughness. I think we're going to uh, keep his firearm skill relevant in case we do have to bring him back in. I'm not sure if people can perma-die. Well, I think it's obvious what we're doing with this dude. More hit, more hit points, and more bashing people in the face. Utility. Surveillance there. Ray. Hmm, what do we want for Ray? I think we want... Uh, we'll give him some toughness. We'll make him a bit hardier. And we'll give him some more... Uh, Shooty, shooty. Uh, go fleetness on this lady. Get us some more AP. Utility and... Uh, where's crafting? Crafting, there we are. Okay, now I think... That means... We're gonna first, we're gonna repair everything. But I think that means we can upgrade this. The upgraded General Arms Patriot improves on damage, accuracy, and the capacity of the base model. Weapon upgraded. Nice. What about this stuff? We need crafting 60 to do any of this, but... That's our new gun. Can we do anything like that with the AK? It doesn't look like it. We have a bunch of stuff to sell. But that means anyone who has these revolvers... Have them uh, upgraded. Which is just me and Chase, apparently. Okay, so let's check out the team because two more guys did. Uh, guys did come back. So Desoto. Let's keep looking at the mafia. I think um, within another episode or two, I do want to have tried to take out some more of the mafia things. can start gaining on... Actually, I think we have pretty much everything we need on gang lieutenants for a while. Okay, so how's this place look now? 23%. Okay, so let's take a look here. We know there's Mafia. It's level 3, medium wealth, and a crime rate of... 
35%. So quite a lot of money from this place is going into the Mafia. So we're going to hit it. You can adjust the level of automation in the camera. Yep, uh, 84%. Yeah, sure. Like, I think um, the better we do with the tactical repositioning, the uh, better our chances are. And I didn't realise that the better your skill, the further you can redefine yourself as well, so... Let's go for a 90... What do we get for a double snap on the open? 86% on a double snap, let's go. Solid opening round. Our fucking rad pistol here, 95%. 94% on a snap that far down, Jesus. I want to put this on normal. I want to see what our um, damage is like on this now. I forgot to check. That doesn't look like I did too much upgrading it. But that is A OK. Let's put some more damage on Big Boss Man. Oh, fastest gun, too. Ray's getting a lot of that fastest gun. What was that? Oh, that was Battle Frenzy, not uh, fastest gun again. I thought he got two in a row. I was about to be very impressed. Good morning. That was just rude. The shootout in the family park. Just just a normal day in Riker City. Okay, and back to us, and Lady in Red gets to go first now because of her new uh, fleetness. No line of sight, 84%, 91%. Well, Andre, suck bullet. And then, no, we know we can't double snap. We can just, it's the same rate for the snap, so we might as well snap, and we got the fastest gun. Damn, that's a good weapon. Ah. Uh, Feels like a waste to use this gun on a someone with one hit point left, so I think we're gonna fire up here instead. And then just to save AP, we're just gonna go in for a love tap here. Pop back that way, and then get in melee with her just to stop her being able to really do anything else. He does enjoy his burning things, doesn't he? I think uh, we'll do this and we might try hitting one of the Matthew Lieutenants again. See if we can get one of those under our belt and get some nice equipment out of them too. See if we can finish this guy off with a 95. There we are. Lovely. Uh, you can't do much else. No line of sight. Okay, what about over there? 59, 68 or 83. Definitely enjoying having these revolvers now. Holy crap. Regeneration Battle Frenzy is just making the uh, the Lord of Flame much harder to kill as well. I think we've actually gone through a decent number of these dudes already. Double snap. 95%. We missed one. I guess that's to be expected at this point. 95%. This is XCOM odds. There is no guarantee here. You might take me down, but the family will live on. I gotta wonder how you're recruiting so many dudes, to be honest. We gotta be shipping them in from somewhere else. Oh, she's concussed. Nice. Don't know what that does. Let's go. Oh, just a snapshot, 
Nice. What are our odds there? 64% through full cover. Damn. Obviously, uh, the Lord of Flame, whatever his real name even is, is going to have no trouble with the lady in front of him. Gonna be behind cover, he can get that dude next turn. How dare you. How very dare you. Okay. Solid. And we can get some more intel. Let's go for some survivalist intel. Revealed something. Let's probably read what they reveal actually. Okay, so we failed two bypasses, one at one. We're gonna go home, we're gonna sell a bunch of these items. Because we have just an absolute ton of extra weapons that we don't need. There we are. I'm gonna buy, what are we gonna buy? So far we're gonna buy nothing. Yep, we're gonna buy nothing. That is A-OK. -okay. That means we can uh, spend some money on upgrading our places here. We will get the level 2 workshop upgraded. Anything still at level 1. And we'll upgrade the gym as well. Cool. Well, in that case, I guess what we're going to do is attempt another shot at one of these lieutenants. Survivalist. Churcher. Rico Luchesi. Let's give this a bash, eh, guys? Actually, first, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back to our inventory here. We're going to repair everything. And we're going to take a nap. Make sure everyone's nice and rested. And then we're going to try and hit this uh, lieutenant. Here we go, folks. Time to get the rifles out, get the kill shots going. When you're in this deep, no way the filth doesn't stick. Hanging around dive bars and back alleys, the grime, it soaks into your soul, kills you inside little by little. Wasn't easy finding this guy. Can't step in when a pimp smacks a girl or some dirtbag pushes drugs, not without scaring off the prey. Laying low and keeping eyes peeled finally played off. Kicked over a few rocks and look what finally crawled out. Followed Rico from a club to the industrial district. His crew stand around like they're waiting for something. Why are we here, boss? I heard that vigilante scumbag is after me, so I sent Dirty Tony out to get some hardware. He's meeting you here? Yeah, bringing me some firepower. Bada bing, bada boom. Secure a better position in attack. Pretend to be delivery guys. Secure a better position. Still no sign of delivery guys. You secure a better position and launch your attack. Okay, so where's my better position? Where am I? Oh, we're over here. Okay. Okay, we're actually going to have cover and a bit of a funnel to bring them down. Oh, this is nice. This is a better position, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, so we're going to be behind this barrel. Lord of Flame behind that barrel. Get you there. We'll get uh, you there. Combat beginneth. Oh, wow, this guy moves like a whippet. Yeah, try aiming, asshole. <laughs> Go for a normal shot there, 48%. Jesus, that's bad. But there's no reason not to take it. Nice. 20 damage. Of course, we're going to be on our rifle as well. Go for the uh, non lethal 53%. Oh, yeah, sorry, the lethal 53%. One down with the first two shots. Fifty-one percent there. Forty-six, forty-seven. Yeah, we'll take the fifty-one. Nice. Okay, now it's a whole lot of them before the Lord of Flame gets to go. Of course, they're going to have just as worse odds as we're having because these guys are all out in the open. So if they want to stand back here and shoot, that is a-okay -okay with me. Lord of Flame, I think you are just going to take out your bat, and for now, you're going to Overwatch. Don't want you running too far ahead and getting nailed, because that's how a lot of these fights end. Jesus, there's a lot of these guys. Of 
we'll keep the Lord of Flames fire grenade ready because these guys are getting in close. Okay, let's get the rifles back out. Hopefully finish her off with this hit. Yep, another one down. And then you take cover. Uh, 80% or 77, well we'll work on this guy. Nice, a nice crit. Okay, there's another two down this turn. Why didn't he overwatch? Oh, he didn't actually get to him. Okay, well, uh, for now I think we're going to try and dump a flaming grenade just there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Throw mode. And then we'll, uh, we'll put him on hand-to-hand -hand overwatch just to bap that guy if he tries to run past. Try and keep these guys occupied. Oh, did he just run onto the map back there? Oh, whatever, we're not leaving him alone. I see him, yes. Yeah, we were not having someone behind us when our riflemen take such big penalties to uh, shoot people when someone's in their way like that. Come on, fastest gun. Nope. Okay, well, crit. I'll take a crit. Then we might as well reload. Things are about to get hairy, I think. Let's see what this guy's plan is. He's just gonna kick us, that's fine. Regen's gonna take care of most of that, and whatever it doesn't, the Battle Fury should get. Nice. And then we wait. Ow. Might see if we can get some more uh, grenades. Probably have the Lord of Flame pull back now, there's a lot of them aiming at him alone. We want to try and funnel them as best we can into this kill box in front of us. Right, let's uh, get some more shots going. Nice. Down you go. Donnie the Lips. I wonder if he was some famous uh, famous guy, the first one to be vigilant. Maybe he was one of the first people we vigilanted. Nice. We're actually doing okay here. Starting to make a dent in their numbers at least. Even if it is just the, uh, the mooks that they're sending forward. Also, our regeneration is doing us wonders as well. You know, that's yeah, that's just a uh, ninety-one percent sure. Let's just keep keep the flame on. Some nice DOTs on those guys. Go back to our fists and go for an Overwatch in case someone does manage to run up on us. I think that one actually just died. That was another hit. Not looking forward to the part where we have to advance through all these guys, because that's going to happen soon. Okay, yeah, she's going to die on the next turn when the flame kicks on, so I'm not going to bother putting any more damage on her. 63 or 84, okay. Nice. Not quite a kill, but... 
best we got for now. Let's just uh, run back behind cover for now, try and draw them in a bit more. Yeah, you can run, run off the map, I'm fine with that. Or am I fine with that? Yeah, we have bigger fish to fry right now. Oh Jesus, that was a hell of a crit. Sixty percent. Oh, we don't really have any. Oh well, never mind. We've been getting quite lucky on this turn, so I can't, on this round, this combat, this mission. Yeah, we've been lucky this mission, so I can't complain about missing a sixty percent. I'm glad that guy's missing, because I remember those rifles doing an ass ton of damage. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you just stay back and save your AP, buddy. And you've done your done a lot of work this time already. You, on the other hand, get bent. Do love these rifles. Oh. Jesus, just missed two, like, 90% shots. Oh, that should be all I can do anyway. Oh, he just hit someone. I think he hit the Lord of Flame, yeah, for 26 damage, holy crap. Just move along just a little bit more, just hide there and regen. <laughs> I think they're returning the favour on all these lucky hits now. Seventy-eight percent this close, that guy must have amazing evasion. Only gonna last him so long though. I don't like that rifle. <laughs> Do not like having to deal with that. So uh, skip back to the end here. Yeah, I'm on it. Overwatch. Holy crap, did you just hit the Lord of Flame again? Yeah you did. Damn, I was planning on having him start to run forward to try and get some kills for his frenzy to kick in and heal him up, but 50% sure. Nice. Was a crit too. 70%. Nice. Ria, what do you got? 72%. Nope. Well, you can't win them all. Back up into your full cover. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, so those two are just running off the map. We're fine with that. What are your chances of hitting? Oh, you can't even. Then I guess you can just reload and wait. Can't do it. Oh, not enough AP to reload. How much is a reload? Five AP. Holy crap. Okay. Forty-six percent. We have no reason not to take the shot. Nice. Good good hit as well. What do we got here? 46%. Oh well. We hit one lower than 50% chance. I'm not gonna grumble about not hitting the other. Okay, that woman needs to die very quickly. Yeah, come on. Hopefully he doesn't get brained this turn. Forty-four percent, forty-eight percent. Yep, we want her dead. She has that wicked long rifle. Damn. Okay, we got some damage down at least. Can't do it. Oh. Sixty-one. Nope. 
Please don't kill anyone. Oh, she just reloaded. Just on this side of the cover from her. We're getting closer. We're getting there. So I'm quite content for those two to run off the map. Come on, let's just put as much damage down on this woman as we can. Oh, shoot like a black shirt. That's fine. With the amount of firepower we've got, we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh wow, okay, that sucks. Lady in red's down, but we've uh, pretty much evened the playing field at this point. Nothing he can do. We might as well crouch and get the uh, get the healing from that. Uh, sorry, the the small defensive bonus from that. Now we continue plinking at this guy. Oh well, we give it a best shot, or at least we give it a shot, I guess. Don't necessarily know it was his best one. This is probably gonna suck. This last bit of club. Oh. No, he hit someone else. He hit Ray. Get bent. Nice. We're in melee with this guy now, which means his rifle sucks. Amazing. We are incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Sure thing. But just ignore that. That didn't happen. What is your plan? Yeah, I'm on it. What's our chances there? Yeah, there's there's no point. We might as well gotta okay. close some distance. Ah, that's just about worth it. Yeah, I'm on it. Well, you're in for a bad time now, buddy. Got it. Are we still on the way, Okay, let's go for a snapshot then. For oh. Okay. Nope. I guess these two just get to swing at each other under gunfire. It's a pretty manly way to uh, have things end, no matter which side of it you're on. 50%. Nope. Forty-one. Nope. Ninety-one. Nope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy's just gonna just run through us all, isn't he? Come on, we got this. 50%. Nope. 41. No ammo. Okay. You might as well reload and then run forward, try and get a better shot. Come on, 91. There it is. And then we'll go in for the love tab as well. Nice, that's him uh, winded. So he gets less AP. Nice. Another dangerous wise guy out of play. Taking Lucchesi down will put a dent in the Mafia's human trafficking operations. You wait around, but the delivery guys don't show. Probably saw what was going on and bugged. Nice. We just got our first big win. Of course, we're going to interrogate somebody. We're going to press for survivalist intel. Play Russian roulette. Oh, there's that rifle. Is that a custom AK or is that just a regular AK? I don't know, but we want to have a look at that, uh, the VSS when we get back. Eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, we are true vigilantes at this point. Now let's take a look at you. Eurocorp Artemis, 22 damage. In fact, let's, let's repair everything, make sure we're not comparing like down stats. Okay, better damage, uh, four to 14 tiles. 1 to 11, so this is a lot more range. 
6 arm capacity, medium caliber bullets, 120% accuracy, holy crap, 2 crit chance, 6 crit chance, 4 reload, 3 durability, I think, uh, yeah, we're going to take that, let's see, oh yeah, we're going to, we're going to be upgrading the crap out of that, this thing is now a, an absolute beast, everything is repaired, we do have somebody in the hospital though, because uh, Lady in Red here, Miss Fury, did get her shit wrecked a little bit. Um, go to the cell items. We're going to keep this other AK. Because I'm not sure if it's the same one that we have. It looks kind of green tinted compared to ours. Yeah, it's 19.2 damage. That's 22.8. That's the Rascal 94 SE, which I guess means it's a custom versus ours. So we'll give that to uh, the Lady in Red. Yeah, those are just the... Uh, crappy little SMGs that we started the game off. We have a lot of shotgun shells. We should maybe consider getting Ray a shotgun. Lady in her head can have this and can we buy any upgrade parts? He has one. Well, we'll buy it anyway. It's not much, but we'll take it. And then I think, folks, we're going to end this episode here on this high note of a victory. As always, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.